Are golf schools worth it? And what skill level is a golf school for? Those are two of the most common questions that we get in today's video. We're gonna answer those along with several others. Let's go. G'day guys, Mike Beery here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, then thank you for dropping in. Please hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of our new content. And if you've been around here before and you've watched some of my videos, then thanks for coming back. If you haven't hit the subscribe button as well, please hit that subscribe and that notification bell. Guys, we are here at 8 Under, and as you know from the intro, we are talking about golf schools and a lot of the most frequently asked questions that we get. I've been fortunate enough over my teaching career to teach a lot of golf schools and they are a fantastic way to learn. Without question, the most commonly asked question we get is regards to skill level. And generally it's a high handicap player asking if that's okay, asking if that's an issue. And the straight answer is, it's fine, it's completely fine. It's suited to you, it's suited to a high handicap player. It's also suited to low handicap players. It's suited to all levels of golfer. We are giving group instruction. We do do things in a group setting, but we branch off and we do things one-on-one -on -one as well. So all of the information is individualized. When it comes to getting on the golf course, we generally do things in like a scramble or like a very loose format. So it's not like you have to play the hole from start to finish. It's really just an opportunity to learn, take what you're learning to the course, and then an opportunity to get in some situations and start to learn, okay, how do I get out of these trees? What's the best way to do it? It might be different from a high handicap player to a scratch player. On that note, one of the questions that we do get is scratch players, are we gonna learn anything? And the answer of course is yes. You know, We never finish learning in this game. We're always trying to improve. And the information, as I said, is individualized. So what a high handicap player in the school might be working on might be completely different to what you're working on. Quite often we get asked the question about golf schools versus private lessons. And you know, obviously if you're in the local area, taking private lessons is great. You can space your lessons out and kind of pace yourself along. If you're not in the area and you're from out of town, then the golf schools are great. They're a comprehensive way of learning. You get everything in, in two days, it's 16 hours. So, you know, you have no choice. We're gonna work on your full swing. We're gonna work on your short game. We're working on your putting, chipping, all the aspects of your game. But more importantly, we're getting on the course too. And that's gonna to lead to our next point. A golf school is almost the equivalent of doing like four months of weekly lessons all in two days. So there's pros and cons to that, right? We're working on a lot of things at the same time, but our goal is to give you the information, give you the tools to go home and be able to continue to work on what we did in the golf school. Also, the cost of the golf school, let's, let's not beat around the bush. The golf schools are expensive. They are not cheap. Relative to taking the same amount of hours private lesson-wise, it definitely would add up. But there's also the factor that, you know, we're doing things in a group setting too. So I'm not gonna hide it, not gonna beat around the bush. Definitely, golf schools are expensive. It's a decision you have to make. Another benefit of golf schools is a group learning environment. So there might be questions that you're sitting there, you're wondering, you're thinking about, but you don't bring it up. Somebody else brings it up. Or something might happen in another situation and you get an opportunity to learn from that. So the group learning environment is super powerful. Also with a golf school being back-to-back -back days, you get two days in a row to work on your golf game, which doesn't generally happen, right? You might go to the range a few days later, you go to the range again, maybe it's a week later, but the golf school is back to back. You also have the benefit of going on the course with your coach and then the next day, you can work on the things that we identified as areas that we need to tackle right away. As I mentioned earlier, I do do golf schools. They're linked down in the description below. We'd love for you to come check them out. One day and two day schools we run throughout the year. We have celebrity schools right now that I'm super excited about. We keep the numbers in the school limited. So if you are interested, you're gonna to wanna to jump on this really quickly. First school coming up is with Matt Fisher, also known as Mr. Short Game. I'm sure you guys follow him on YouTube. The guy's an absolute legend. I've been a fan of Matt for a long time. I'm super excited about doing this school with him. Also just a genuinely good guy, but his depth of knowledge is incredible. The next school is with Keith Bennett, who is an absolute rock star. I know you guys watch his stuff on Instagram. It is spot on. The guy, first of all, has a pure swing. And also the guy is so well-spoken. His information is so well-delivered. I cannot wait to do the school with him. Then we have the school with Zach Radford. You guys probably know I've been friends with Zach for a long time. I'm really excited about the school. He's such a highly skilled golfer. There's so much to learn. If you're a good player or you're a high handicap player, we've got a ton to learn from Zach and you have an opportunity to learn his stinger in person. So guys, if you take a school with me, with the celebrities, awesome, we would love to see you. But if you're just looking to do a school in general, make sure you do some research because there's some good schools out there 
and there's some other schools, right? Make sure you take one at the good schools. Some of the schools are on the high end where you're getting incredible instruction. We talked about earlier, golf schools are not cheap. There are other schools that are on the cheaper side. They tend to be more on the value side, right? So there's a lot of participants. You don't necessarily get as much of the one-on-one -on -one coaching time, but it depends on what you're looking for. If you guys have any other questions on golf schools, just drop them in the comments below and I'm gonna try and answer as many as I can. Guys, please hit that like button. It does help us out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on any of the new content. All of 8unders info is also linked down below. We'd love to see you here. And of course, until next time, good golfing.